I'm back in New York. I'm back in New York. I just went to Whole Foods. Guess what I got? A whole chicken baby. And it's organic. Yeah, it's organic. We're gonna eat it right now. <laughs> beautiful people from New York. I was walking around and I found a good luck spot. Woohoo! I'm lucky! It was actually so funny <laughs> because someone had painted a ton of bad luck spots all over this Union Square park and then just a few really huge good luck spots. So I'm not sure what their intended message was, but I found it funny. I saw it on my way to Pilates. I don't think I spoke about this topic before on this channel, but I really love doing Pilates Reformer. So this video is not supposed to be about Pilates. It's supposed to be about choices. I've been making some choices lately and I have some reflections that I would like to share. Um, the biggest choice I made was moving from Rockaway back to Manhattan. And um, I feel like choices are what makes our destiny. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my chicken and then share some reflections. Okay, let me show you. Yum! Okay, let me eat a little bit first and then we can talk. I love a juicy thigh. Excuse my manners. I know I eat like a cave woman. I'm very hungry today. Want some? Second one. <clears throat> and the rest of the chicken that I didn't eat, I will put in a chicken salad probably another day. Oh my God, I'm full. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we can talk. Okay, I washed my hands, so let's talk about decisions. I, I feel very inspired actually because I made my own decisions recently. I came into Manhattan from Rockaway, I decided to break my lease in Rockaway. And that was a little bit uncomfortable and scary for me. I've never broken my lease before, it was fine, I mean there wasn't any problems, but it's just like, oh, you plan to stay someplace for longer and then you decide, no, it's time to do something else. So I did that. And then at the same time, I found this old dance teacher of mine who has started a new company. She has made her own decisions and she's no longer teaching dance. She has started this motivational company in Norway that helps people live the life that they really want to live. And she talks a lot about decisions on her channel. Basically, those two things kind of came together. So I was inspired. I want to make a video about decisions. So the first morning I woke up here, in back in Manhattan again. I've lived in Manhattan before. Then I decided it's too noisy here. I can't take it. I need to be close to nature. I went to Rockaway. And then I changed my mind again. <laughs> Um, so I woke up here the day after I moved from Rockaway back into the city and I thought to myself, oh my god, no, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right choice? And I feel like a lot of us can make or have those thoughts after we made a choice that leaves us feeling a little bit uncomfortable. My old teacher talks about this in her videos, basically. The philosophy is that 
actually it might be a good thing that your decisions make you feel uncomfortable because you're trying something new you are consciously deciding okay these are my old choices my old routines my old whatever it was i'm choosing something new and when you do that your system kind of gets scared right because it's used to the comfort of your routines your normal choices it just going through the motions um so i hadn't thought about choices in that way before so i wanted to share it with you guys too because now i told you i woke up the day after i moved here and i felt like oh, a little bit scared now i don't feel like that anymore because now i'm used to it here i'm happy i made the choice and as you saw from the video that i just shot where i showed you some of the things you know in manhattan i was walking around doing my pilates i love being here i love being here now i love being here now I love being here now. I love being here now. I love being here now. I love I love I love being here now. Actually, one of my favorite YouTubers, Shayna Klee, The Purple Palace, she just made a one week challenge last week where the challenge was for one week, make choices that come out of love. Oftentimes we can make choices that are based on what we don't want or what we fear. So we make choices like, oh, I wanna avoid this, I wanna, I don't want that, I don't want that, so I better do this and this and this. So the challenge is, make choices based on oh i i how can i make that happen i i would love that to happen i would love to live life like this and then make choices from that energy instead and i just find that to be very helpful and very a very interesting exercise because you can kind of catch yourself going into worry mode or fear mode and um it's no need to worry you should always prepare as best you can for different kind of scenarios but your focus should be on what you want in your life and what you would love and then the second thing i wanted to share with you that also has to do with choices is my friend composer arranger and pianist stephen feifke just won his first grammy this year this week actually like a few days ago so i'll show you what it looked like when i watched him win Festival Big Band and Christian Jacob, Stephen Fifty, Bijan Watson, and Generation Death Jazz Orchestra. Steve Gadd, Eddie Gomez, Ronnie Cooper, WDR Big Band, and Michael Abeni. Remy LaBeouf's Assembly of Shadows. And the Grammy goes to. Generation Gap Jazz Orchestra! Oh my god. He won. He won. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh my god. Look, 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 look. Oh my god, Steven! Wow, what an incredible honor. Thank you so much to the Recording of Academy, to all of our peers and friends in the audience tonight. Uh, this, thank you, this, uh, this album for us is truly a mission of uh, celebrating and showcasing generational diversity. And uh, I'm so proud to be here with my mentor and collaborator on this project, Bijan Watson. Oh my goodness, thank you so much to uh, our creative team. Uh, I'm so happy for my friend. <laughs> like it takes such dedication and focus and 
just not accepting anything less than excellent and it's just so touching to me to see someone who is so dedicated and in love with what they do achieve their at least one of their goals and be recognized for it and just accepting the award so gracefully and uh wow how incredible wow congratulations steven so proud of you so so proud of you Instead of sun and watch the moon We'll build a dream house of love, dear Close to the sun in the daytime, near to the moon at night We're living a lovely way, dear so I was so happy for him. I was so happy for him. To me, it's a symbol of so many things that he won that award. And uh, dreams come true, dreams come true. And I wasn't surprised that he won because he's super talented, but it's, um, it's just a testament to that if you choose excellence, excellence chooses you. <laughs> if that makes sense because every single time that i've worked with steven there's a sense of a decision to committing to excellence it's a decision and it's an energy and it's a focus that is very crystal clear um some other people i played with in the past they could be a bit more like a daisical, a bit more laid back, you know, okay, we're gonna play, it hopes, you know, we're gonna do our best, but you know, it might not, it might not be excellent. And that's, that's a cool vibe to be on too, that's totally fine. But then that's your decision, and then you have results from that. Whereas Steven always has a crystal clear focus and dedication and deep love for jazz for music so you know then you get the result of this grammy that kind of also ties into what i said before that you can feel uncomfortable sometimes when you choose different things uh in terms of music if you don't choose to put yourself out there especially jazz if you choose to play it safe you will never achieve your greatness you will never expand so if you choose to be uncomfortable for a few seconds, a few minutes, it can really change your life over the long run. I remember when I started as a jazz singer here in New York, um, it was very uncomfortable the first few gigs because I wasn't used to having performances, I wasn't used to doing jazz, and I did it anyway. And that's what I want you to take away from this video. If you want to do something, do it, do it, don't be scared, don't be scared. Just do it um, if it benefits you and hopefully also other people in the long run. Make the choice even though it feels uncomfortable. You will get feedback from your body, from the environment around you, if it was the right choice or not. And if it wasn't, you can choose again, but don't be scared of choices. I think that's perfect. To close the video with that don't be scared of choices make choices interact with the world and see what happens it's exciting lots of love to you i'm going to post some uh cover videos again soon i haven't posted a cover in a little bit so love you bye from new york manhattan baby